Hello my dear friends, I am back with another interesting case and uh, I am very proud of sharing this case because I am an endodontist and I always like to save the tooth. So this case came to me uh, where the earlier dentist had attempted uh, uh, retreatment uh, for this tooth and uh, retreatments are always challenging. So in this case, um, there was a perforation which is exactly on the mesiolingual orifice. Now if you do a perforation on furcal area, at least you have the canals intact so you can seal the furcation area and obturate the other canals. But if you have perforated exactly in an area where the orifice is located, then uh, treating it is very difficult because you will not gain access to the canal. So this took almost one hour and um, the perforation area was on the mesiolingual and uh, it was very near to the mesiobuccal orifice also but fortunately mesiobuccal orifice was not uh, involved in the perforation but it was at an angle. Now finding this uh, mesiolingual was impossible because I tried to see if I can gain the access and uh, this was not done under microscope. So I did uh, uh, try my best to find it but it, I could not. Then based on the pre-operative x-ray, uh, you know, uh, and uh, finding uh, mesio buccal canal, I used the benefit of uh, tactile controlled activation which you can use in uh, controlled memory files. So I used that technique and uh, I was able to open up the mesio buccal canal and uh, I put the GP. And uh, although I could have advised CVCT but uh, patient was literally hopeless about this tooth and asking him again to get CVCT when you know that the chances of uh, saving this tooth is very minimal because the perforation very, was very big. So I took a chance that based on the angle at which the GP was going in the mesiobuccal canal I felt maybe the mesiobuccal and mesiolingual are merging and uh, I sealed the mesiolingual orifice with MTA and obturating the mesiobuccal canal. And I did uh, the regular core buildup and uh, over that I have given crown and this is almost after an uh, year and you can see the tooth number 4, 7 where you can see the single GP. The tooth has healed very well. Uh, I know you are more worried about the tooth number 4, 6 where you can see that even though there was a good obturation, there is a lesion. But failure sometimes is unpredictable and uh, I did not try to intervene this tooth because it is asymptomatic for this moment. But 4, 7 which I treated uh, uh, has successfully healed and patient is completely alright.